What's up guys, it's TJ. Welcome over here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. In today's video, we are doing a 1v1v1 1 v1 v1 big bass challenge here at the craziest fishing gas station I've ever been to in my life. Not only are we here at the biggest, baddest fishing gas station on the history of the planet like ever, ever, we're also here at Lake Gunnersville in Alabama on the Tennessee River where it is uh, considered by some, maybe not even considered, I think Andrew was telling me that it actually is pound for pound the best bass fishing lake in the country. I'm pretty sure that's what he was saying. Maybe even one of the best in the world. I don't know, there's a lot of big bass lakes down in Mexico, so we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. But today's opponents, you have myself fishing with Yak Pack. You have Trey oh, right here. You have Andrew right here. Andrew Nordby fishing with Nordby. I'll link his channel down below. Uh, he's actually in the store right now. I think he had to go talk to the owners about something. He's got like his own line of baits or something like that in there. They're doing some like business stuff right now. So we're gonna make our way inside of there. But before we do that, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor and that is Mystery Tackle Box slash Carl's Fishing and Outdoors. We'll talk about them a little bit later once we get out on the water. But for now, I need to ask you guys one thing. You gotta hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you hit this video with a thumbs up because it's free and it doesn't cost anything and it helps other people find fishing with the backpack videos and then we can all just enjoy it as a family together. So before we make our way inside and link up with Andrew himself, the rules to today's challenge. Each person gets to go in here with no budget and pick three fishing lures, three of their most confident, like they just, they know for a fact they're gonna catch not only fish, but a big fish with one or th all three, hopefully, all, hopefully everybody, nine, you know, I'd love to have a video filled with nine big fish catches, but we'll see how that goes. So each person gets three lures of choice, no budget. The time limit for today's video, we're gonna have three hours because we traveled, bug in my face. You guys missed something. As a matter of fact, I'll put a screenshot up right here that has nothing to do with this video, a moth flew in my ear like uh, what was it last night Trey or the night yeah, before last night literally straight down your ear a tube. moss a moss a moth flew in my eardrum ear canal imagine a moth flying in your ear and you could just hear it making its way to your brain I freaked out literally made it to the hospital from my house in six minutes and it's usually like a 15 minute drive I was freaking out anyways I'll put a picture of that up that was a uh, pretty hilarious but yeah three hours three lures a piece let's get inside and let's start picking some fishing lures all right, boys, this is the deal. What's up? The winner, whoever catches the biggest fish in today's video, all fish get put on a scale. You got a scale, right? I got okay. three scales. I was about to say, I left my yeah. mine at home. One dies, prepared. you got a bag up. Another one dies, you got a bag up. So, what if, <laughs> so basically, you're going to know what you catch. <laughs> you're going to know exactly what you catch. So We're going to know. The rules to today's, uh, or not the rules, excuse me, the, uh, the winner gets bragging rights, of course. Ooh. Always what you want. Five hundred dollars Venmo, PayPal. I don't have cash or whatever, hey, but that's hopefully, a nice purse. yeah. About hey, saying, that's a nice purse. So wow. you have bragging rights, five hundred dollars, and I know, right? And you get to keep all of this fishing gear using in this video specifically. You get to keep everything. So, and that right. itself is probably going to be a little over a well, hundred dollars. I'm going to use all of my baits on fish, so there's not going to be anything left. He's mm, going to break fair them enough. off. Fair enough. He is going to break them off. Watch he gets out there and breaks off. That's another thing, too. Ooh. You talking about big fish, a lot of structure, a lot of grass, a lot of shell down at the bottom of 20 plus foot where we're going to be fishing today. If you break off, you got three lures. You better not break them <laughs> you off. You better not break off. So, no oh my goodness. Anyways, let's get started then. All right. We just met up with the man, the myth, the legend. He always puts us on good fish. So I'm like, you know what? They've been just... biting. But Have it's they? been like a late afternoon deal. Um, so it might get better as the day goes Cool. Long. That's good. Yeah. Even though, you know, it's, it's a good thing it's 92 outside with no wind. That's my favorite. He, saw, he said, he said uh, last night, or this morning it was, he was like, bring some swimming shorts because we're going to need to swim. And I was like, dude, I can't really swim because I just got fish tattoos. Oh, wow. How do you like those? Look at that. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> My kids. Okay. I, th I, was, I thought so. Yeah, yeah. I was going to make fun, and then yeah. I'm like, that is actually really cool. That's, yeah, I was like, you know what? Instead of getting their names so or whatever, cool. I was like, I'll just get them to draw me a fish and, and dude. my little girl's fish. That's well, so meaningful, man. It is. It's kind of cool. It. It's kind of cool. So, and this uh, man doesn't wear sunscreen, so he's really gonna that's, bake. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I, I put on self tanner the other day, and it's it's already wore off, so I have zero protection. Well, but, you'll be good after a day. Today. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. Day on Gunnersville, yeah. the big bass lake here in the United States. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Heck but yeah. check this out. This is the rules. Trey's behind the camera right now. Like I said, three lures per person. No budget in anything you want. Doesn't matter right. if you want it to have be a hundred dollar swim bait. Don't hurt my bank account too hey, much, but sure, you know, hey, he's whatever. offering. <laughs> I guess that you're buying. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Okay. Three lures per okay. person. No budget. Three hours. Ooh. So, within those three hours, like you said, 
we'll start the timer as the day, you know, when, when we start my video, like yeah. start fishing because we're going to film for yeah. him first. And then we start my video, we'll start that three three hours and uh, yeah. we'll go from there. So we'll hopefully within those three hours, all of us can catch a mega on I each hope sword. So. Hopefully. That'd be sweet. That would be great. Of course. That would be awesome. That, now, that, that's the goal, right? That'd be nine megas. We're probably going to catch one or two. Yeah. But uh, yeah. That's, I'm excited, dude. I'll, I always get excited to come here to Waterfront. Yeah. At, like, the literally the craziest, coolest, yeah. most insane fishing gas station ever that That's, I've ever been to. They got the biggest tackle selection. Literally. You have everything, anywhere, you, ever, everything you could ever want. Get gas. And get food. I'm, gas, I got a burger food. on order right now. Oh, he got a cheesesteak. He's, yes, he's getting a Philly cheesesteak. Nice. I'll probably get, like, a cheesesteak, too, before we get out on the water. Because last yeah. time I came here, I, we didn't have no food, no snacks, and I thought <laughs> your boy was hungry. You got to eat. So, <laughs> we're going to get some water and some food and all that stuff. And those fish going to eat. Yeah. They, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I always get excited to come here to Waterfront and fish in Gunnersville. And then yeah. hang out with the boys. So that's always a good time. Yeah, so with that said, I, I would say let's go ahead and let you make your three lure selection first. I already got an idea. You already got that's already good. Got that's good. Idea. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll go last because it's my channel. I'll make the rules. You go first. Trey goes second. I'll go last. And uh, we'll go. We're gonna base there. it get, on get the lures. Right. First yeah. one's actually right here. You Is didn't it? even know that they've been eating a big worm here on Gunnersville and. It's a color I've been wanting to try. I've been throwing June bug. This is June bug red. It's a little darker. Interesting. So down there deep, they see it. Yeah. They see it, boy. I like and that. And then we're gonna go see what else we want. Let's go. Oh, you're going with the thick boys. Ooh. Them deep yeah. boys. AXD. So I throw a deep crank a lot. I don't have many of the new 8XDs. I have 6XDs, 10XDs. This is a little in between. Yeah, and by in between, you mean blow your shoulders out don't, of socket. <laughs> don't look at that coat. <laughs> so we're fishing mainly deep, mid range, the edge of grass, shell beds. So drag a big worm, throw a crankbait, bump the shell. And I've been catching them on crankbait. Give these little boys a hint. So yeah, we're going to buy right. one more variation. Listen to this one. You hear how loud That's that is? Loud. That's one of the loudest crankbaits on the market. So. We are going to go opposite with this next one and go with the DT20. You hear that one? Ooh, very, I like Same, about the same depth, a little smaller profile, a little tighter wobble. They're gonna munch it. All right, there's Andrew's three lures. Trey, you're on the clock, you're up next. There's no time limit, no budget. One, two, three, go. Hey, it's Carl. I've prepared a statement for the Mondo celebration attached to today's historical event. It's my 10 year anniversary. <laughs> That's right, it's Mystery Tackle Box's 10 year anniversary. If I was a bass, I'd probably weigh about 12 pounds right now. <laughs> 15 if I just had a shad load for lunch. And I'd probably have about 10 rings around my belly. I think that's how that works. Anyways, we're celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Mystery Tackle Box with some huge sales. Head over to shopcarls.com right now to check it out and celebrate. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Oh, and be sure to do me a solid as an anniversary present. Can you comment on this YouTuber's video as a friendly reminder to let them know that I'm a better angler than they are? <laughs> it really mean the world to Hat Guy and I. Thanks, tight lines. First, lure number one, <laughs> 10 plug. Oh, Gotta have God. it. That was quick. I'm gonna go for the big 10 inch worm. Oh, and Daddy, huh? We're gonna go with plum. Plum? Good yeah, color that, for deep water. Winner. I like that. Yeah, really good color selection for deep water. Okay. All right. I'm gonna follow me over here. And we're gonna go pick out the juice. The juice. This is what we're gonna win on right here. Oh, okay. Dude, we're literally just navigating our way through every fishing aisle in here. It's there's crazy. like so many. There's like 15 aisles in here. And they're all just slam full. Slam full. All right. This right here is the winning bait. Are you oh, ready to see it? Oh, you did it. Yeah, those yeah, those are those are hand tied. That's custom. Hard. Look at that. That is a good looking football jig right there. For some deep water too. We'd be down there knocking everything out. All right. Well, that was uh that was actually really quick. Andrews was quick too because they were pretty familiar with this tackle shop because we've been here quite a few times. And you guys love when we come here to film because there's a bunch of stuff here and hopefully if you're watching this you make your way here one day because it's, I mean, really, literally the coolest fish and gas station I've ever seen. It's like a fishing store with gas pumps outside. That's what it is. So <laughs> it's, it's literally everything you need right here. I swear, you, there's nothing else you can need for a uh, a day on the on the lake or a pond, and like just you couldn't find it here. There's no way you couldn't find it here. But anyways, we're uh, up to me or down to me or it's my turn. However you want to say that. So let's go get to picking. I'm up last, not least. You know the deal. I'm gonna show you guys the winning baits right here. 
We're gonna go, uh, I just found these not too long ago. Trey and I went and filmed a video at a, a Barnes store in Carrollton, Georgia, and we found these crazy lures that we had never seen before, and they're Picasso lures, and they have them, in fact, here at Waterfront. So, you know me, of course I'm gonna pick one. Also, of course, I'm gonna get a ridiculous color. It's probably not gonna work, but this is, uh, I don't even know, let me see, let me try to three-eighths of an ounce, let me see if they have a heavier one. Okay, they don't have, oh, they do, they have a half ounce, I'm gonna throw a half ounce. Okay, we're gonna put this one back. Let's see. Now, this color is Royal Red Crawl, Red Crawl Blade Chartreuse. Craziest color I've ever heard of in my life. Lure number one. Let's go make our way. Let's just let's go get lure number two. All right, we're gonna help Trey out really quick because Trey's. No, you're good. You can eat. You can eat. All right, lure number two. I want something that I can fish deep. Like Trey was. Uh, Trey got a ten inch worm. I want to see if I can find a worm bigger than there. Okay. I want to see if I can find one bigger than that. There's a zoom 12 inch one right there. I want to see if I can find something bigger than that. Cause uh, I feel like if you're going, you know, if you're fishing 20 foot of water, you run across a big fish with a big worm like that. Like he's going to eat it. He they're eat it. Yeah. They're going to eat it. 15 right there. What color did you get Trey? I got plum. Plum. I'm going to do June bug then. Oh, oh no. Red bug. No, nah, get plum. Get plum. You think so? Yeah. Get plum. You think? Okay. So I'll do plum. 15, 15 inch C-Mac plum worm. That's what they used to call me in high school. So we have two, I'm gonna put these in my pocket real quick. And uh, I'm not selling them, of course we're gonna pay for them. I just, we don't have a buggy. Uh, let's see, lure number three. I wanna, I wanna do something like kinda off the wall. And I seen something in here last time. No clue if these things are gonna work, but uh, they are in here and one sleeve of them is almost sold out. And that is probably for a reason. And they're called ledge busters. And they are, uh, ounce and a half break it you bought ounce and a half spinner baits dude that thing's a gorilla uh, literally well the, i mean those those are called gorillas oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, that one's just a half ounce heavier than that yeah one. that's a two ounce uh fast rolling series golly these things are massive i'm also going to go with a um so there's only one left on the shelf if i bought this one so i'll show you i'm going to go get a crazy color because i feel like why would you not like just why not make it more difficult than it has to be but Here's a point that I've tried to make in many, many videos. Watch. When you go shopping on uh, at like a fishing store, fishing section, see how many baits, they're just out like they're thick, right? Come down here. There's one pack left right here. Two, le two packs right here. Two packs right here. Clearly, that is a very good indicator as to what is working in the area that you're in. Come over here to the ledge busters. There's two of these white ones left on the shelf, right? Now there is a whole bunch of other crazy colors and I'm gonna go with uh, the craziest color of them all because why would I not? I just, it's not a challenge if it's not, it's not a, it's not a challenge if it's not challenging. This is gonna be really hard. Okay, well, yeah, now that we've got all three of our lures a piece selected, let's make our way out to, uh, actually, I need, you got food? You got, what'd you get? Is I it got, food? I got a food cheesesteak. Is it good? Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go get a Philly too. I'm gonna get, uh, grab some food, grab some drinks. Uh, that way we can load it up in the boat and then we'll see you guys on the water here in about two seconds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the, uh, on the water. And uh, we've got our sack of baits here. Let's go ahead and dump everything out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, let's see. That's... Give me that. You want, how about I say that. you? Do you want that Give me one? That. All right. I'm going to tie that sucker off right go. now. Andrew's going to go with that one first. Yeah. You already know. I like the Right, one. deep crank, down deep. I like it. We'll try it out. It's, it's very convenient where we are located, too, because we are sitting on grass right here out there where that red buoy is that you guys probably can't see because the gopro's got the best camera in the world it's like super deep there's a really deep ledge out there or i think yeah. it comes this way so he's gonna fish that while i fish some shallower grass trey what are you using right now the big worm. you got the big worm big worm which one are you oh yours is the uh this one yeah i'm throwing that one okay cool i'm kind of dragging it down this ledge cool pretty slow. i'm getting out there sounds good i'm about to start with uh the picasso i like it the uh this crazy looking color something or another whatever this thing is called is that the one with the like with the carbon fiber blade on it well it would have a carbon fiber blade if it wasn't painted we have ah. fire. yeah there you go yeah this is uh that and that's a crazy looking 
That's crazy looking right there, dude. I don't even know what to say. That's exotic. Yeah, exotic. That's the right word. I like the word. Exotic. Okay. I'm about to exotically catch a fish. Hopefully, a non pounder. You know, that's not too much to ask for. A non pounder is definitely not. So low? Yeah. Not, not uh, too much to ask for. Dang, that's a cool looking bait right here. We also had an issue here. I, um, as you guys can see on this rod, it looks kind of dusty. I mean, it looks like it's literally been destroyed. The brand new reel that Norm bought me, the left-handed Corrado. Um, I spilled purple power all over this in the back of my truck and it did not just, I haven't cleaned it up yet, so. Uh, it looks like it wants to eat it, but it looks like it could just be clean if I just pressure wash it off, which I probably will do. So let me make sure my drag is good. It probably ate the drag gears. Like, I'm gonna go to catch fish and just slip everywhere. That's what you want. I know. Yeah, you want that. You want to slip. You know. That's if that's you're not you slipping, want. you ain't dripping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, this thing runs crazy. Look at this, Trey. You probably can't see it from there. That thing's got all sorts of. I know. Crazy action. It's heavy too, and I like a heavy chatterbait. Dude, that's crazy it's like it's got side to side movement like crazy side to side movement along with a regular chatter so cool what's up nothing uh, it's all right it happens it'd be like that right, let's see we're gonna work this grass line while they work the, the deeper stuff for a second i mean hopefully it doesn't destroy my reel but it definitely uh Definitely doesn't look too great. Ooh, Ooh. I thought that was it. Oh, there he is, drag slipped and everything. Nice. There Go he on. is right there. Oh my gosh. It feels like a good one. There he is. No flip. Get up here, baby. Oh, oh let's go. It's a spot. On the chatterbait. Oh, look at his eye. Oh, what's wrong with it? He's got a jacked up eye. Oh. Goodness, he choked this thing, though. Look at that. First uh, fish of the day. That was only literally like five cast in. Dude, look how thick. Not bad. Look at how thick this fish is, right? He's so bad. <laughs> Look how thick he is. Big old belly. He's been eating something. Yeah. Big old belly. Looks big like boy. he's been eating chatter baits. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say big boy. Good. Cool. Not a bad, uh, not a bad fish to start the day. Hopefully, there's uh, many more where that comes from, and they're a lot bigger than that. Let me get you guys out of the wind real quick. That's a, I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. Three or four casts in. I, w I definitely wasn't. Uh, I definitely wasn't like we've literally been here for 10 minutes maybe so that's a good sign but the sun's going down everything feels uh good oh you know what else don't feel good a backlash you're real because you forget to click the you forget to engage it that doesn't feel good that's all that's what you want every time you know i just put just put brand new line on this reel like right after norm got bought it for me or I say Norm bought it for me. What I meant to say is like when Norm was like, oh yeah, no budget challenge, TJ? Okay, bet. We're going to spend all your money. I told him, I was like, bro, don't be getting me, making me buy no like $600 reels. I can't be doing that yet. Dude, the drag was tight. I think that purple power probably ruined my reel. That's not good. Maybe they'll let me warranty it, I guess. Let me, uh, since I caught one on this, I know you're not really supposed to like, you don't leave fish to find fish. And you also like, if you're put something on like a pattern, you don't really want to change, but that would be no fun. So I'm going to change up to uh, one of the worms I bought and then uh, see if we can catch something on that. I keep burping. My goodness. Fish eat stuff like this. I just lost that big crankbait. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm down the lure already. I just broke it off. That big one. She gone. I'm going to tie on the other crankbait. I'm about to say that happens to the best of us. I'll get you out. Texas tree. All right, cool. Sounds good. Uh, not something that big. Whatever smaller than that. I don't know, like a ounce and a half, two ounce maybe. I'm playing this. 
I was like, I'm not shooting missile with Trey all the time. <laughs> Trey be like, you, you fish you freaking what? missiles. <laughs> yeah, my boy flipping the nastiest ice. Huh? Yeah, this will be good right here. I like the color too. TJ, how big was your fish? Oh, bro, we didn't put it on a scale. I'm an idiot. Oh, it doesn't matter though. You know why? Look at you guys go. Go, go I got one. Oh, the big worm. Let's go, big worm. On the big worm. Let's go, big worm. Nice. Let's go. Down here, get up. I'm gonna uh, put a, a worm on right now too. That's a good sign. Yeah, on the big worm. Let's go. Dude. Not a big one. The worm's about as big as him. Nice. Look. He's fat though. Oh, that looks terrible on the GoPro. Bro, look look how tight it is. Ooh. Oof. <laughs> you tied your weight around it. I top. I'm over here. I'm trying to tie this up as Trey is reeling in the fish because I'm like, yo, that's. I literally just did that. Has anybody ever I did done this before? You. This might be a world's first. I'm not. I'm not entirely that sure. That's pretty. So. That's pretty goofy looking. Yeah, we need to bust that scale out. I didn't weigh my fish. I think that one's bigger than the one I caught. I think it's like. too. To me, it looks there like it. Yeah, we're zeroed out. He's gonna. He might max the scale out. Honestly, yeah. I know that's kind of a. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. Hang on. Take him off. Redo. 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 Take two. Take two. <laughs> All right, we're good. He is 1.49. Okay, pound and a half. Bro, pound that's my half. PB. Pound and a half. PB spot? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Thank, Thank you, yeah, dude. He was fun to catch on the big worm, though. Yeah, Let's go, nice dude. One. Good catch. Pound and a half takes the lead right now, for sure. That other one wasn't, I don't He's... think that other one was that big. All it's right. Shorter than that and about that fat. So it's not, it's definitely, that's, that takes the lead. Obviously. Well, I'm going to let him go. There you go. Thanks for biting. Appreciate it. Sweet. We'll catch you next time. I need to, where'd my worm go? <laughs> oh, right oh, shot. Yeah, another one? Yeah, no way. Let's go. That's on a big worm, too. That could be a giant. I don't know yet. It feels good, but I don't know. I'm ready. Bring him to me. I'm holding. Put him in the bread basket. Put him in the bread basket. Get him. Get him. Get him. Bring him to me. He's dogging you. Bro, I haven't seen anything. I haven't either. God. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, you got him. Why is he? Oh, you got him. You got him. You got him. Got him. Let's go. Oh, definitely not. He's not big. Yeah. He was dogging you. Dude, I really, I really thought this thing was a... Bro, look at that worm. I really thought... Dude, he literally inhaled. Or he attempted to inhale a 15-inch no worm. No way. Good God, dude. He don't slammed know. it. Bro, this... Hot, dude, 15-inch worm, I guarantee you, 8 inches of it was down his throat. Oh, my gosh, dude. That worm's giant. I don't think I've ever seen a worm that big. Yeah, that's a, that's a freaking mondo right there i don't know trey that's probably pushing it pretty close to the one you think so think you might i don't know this one it might not be as big we'll see put it on a scale real quick God. i wonder what the first one you call big was definitely not this big no i don't think so make sure your gopro can see that there you go can't tell let's see what we got one eight is it gonna walk in one eight five one eight five okay well that takes the lead yeah that definitely takes the lead so far one eight five in the books let me I'm get a you spotted bass hole yeah i know dude. Literally, yeah crazy these things will eat freaking anything i swear one eight five pretty cool man you just literally tried to eat a 15 inch worm you're good you're a gangster for that but thanks for playing Catch you next time. Peace. Dude, let's go. That's what? Three fish in this one little... Yeah, well, in like 10 there's minutes. There's a boat right there. I don't want to say that too loud, but that's like three fish <laughs> in like 10 minutes on this one little juice hey, hole. Bro.
<laughs> they're loaded right here. They, I know they're looking at us mad right now because they ain't caught nothing. They just pulled up. They ain't caught nothing. We done waxed two or three fish in their face. Let's go, man. All right, let's, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna keep sending this worm down there. Yeah, I really want to fish that chatterbait again. I don't know. Yeah? We'll figure. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let me see if you mess my line up though. Golly, this thing zips out there. It's such a big worm. You can swim these things too. You swim it slow, and the tail just acts crazy. What a cool looking worm though. I'm about to see. Looks like a snake coming through the I water. I swear it does. The, it's literally longer than my from the tip of my finger. Look. Let's see if I can get this on the GoPro. That's how long this worm is. <laughs> That's crazy. Good color though, too. I, uh, it's so long. Yeah. The tail's like two thirds of. That's, That's I know. That. That's what makes the like the most action too, especially when it's falling in the water. It's just like a helicopter, like so freaking sweet, dude. I had never thought to do that until uh, you showed me that. Get your crankbait down there. Make sure I got all that stuff out my line. Yeah, I had never thought to do that. And then I was talking about that. I think even in the oh, video. Yeah. Oh, no way, dude. He's got one. <laughs> Let's go. Right on the tip. He's right on the tip. He's way out there. Biggin? Feels good. He feels real good. Oh, here he comes. Oh, the net. Oh, the net. The net. The net. The net. The net. I got him. I got him. One hook. One hook. One hook. Oh, God. Oh, he's literally by a hook. I got him. Oh, my. Bro, he literally just about jumped oh, off. Oh, he almost jumped off. Around your pole and everything. Oh, God. That was almost oh, bad. Oh, we got him, though. Oh. Hey, there we go. Big one of the day, boy. Dude, where's the scale? Oh, I'll put the scale right below your where your left foot is it. right there. Woo! Dude, yeah, that's definitely the biggest one of the day, no doubt. All right. Let's see what let's right, see right that here. one goes. I'm gonna give you where did you put the scale? Uh down below the baits in that yeah, tray. Yeah. Alright. It's below the baits. Right here. That's gotta go three for sure. Three? I think it's pretty close. I'm gonna say, yeah. well, if I mean, if we're if we're on YouTube, that's a five. Yeah, that's a nine. <laughs> Here we, we go. Here. All right. Oh, it's not one. I don't know what it's doing lately. Hang on. We gotta clear this kid. So yours right. is one. You you call it a one forty? I call it a one forty nine. Here we yeah. go. Two seventy nine. Two seventy nine. Good. Almost three. Almost three. That's a stud. The my ball scales are pretty dang good. Not hey. gonna lie. Not bad for a tough no. day. Yeah, dude. You know, couple hours out yeah. here. That's not bad at all. It's been hot. Uh, well, what you guys haven't seen is the amount of time that we were on that grass line. Right, like we had a first good go. couple, like Sweet. 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so of the of the uh, video. Hey, buddy, you and all that good stuff. Yeah. If you come back in this boat, though, you you get, uh, all right. That's what I thought. <laughs> But what you guys didn't see is we were on that grass line for like 20, 25 minutes, and then it's been a minute. It's been a, a minute, the uh, the we, sun. We graphed like 20 different schools yeah. where they're normally at, and they're just between 11 and, and 3, 11 and 2. It's the hottest part of the day. Yeah, it's toasty out here. Man. And even even them, like them fish in deep water, man, like they'll eat, but... You hook one, and like I said earlier, we were filming for uh, Andrew's video earlier today. I lost what? What would you have said right here behind the boat? Maybe a four, four probably yeah. four pounder. Yeah, yeah. off of, off of school, like literally first cast there on a big worm. Uh, spit it, broke yeah. two off. Yeah, caught three. Dude, that yeah. was a rough day. Did not fish clean today at all. New no, rough day of fishing, but it is what it is. We're just gonna keep on fishing until uh, they tell us they don't want to bite no more. I guess. I'm about to bite on one of these waters. I'm about to say, we can end it there, and I'll just uh, go ahead and clip that, Trey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that's, that's that. That is, that is that. That's how tough the, uh, the fishing is. We, we were out there for like two or three hours filming his video. Uh, we lost a bunch of fish. It was like they were biting. They just weren't committing to it. One broke me off on the prop. That would have been the big fish of the day. Not, you know, not my video and yours. That yeah, yeah. Like four, four and a half pounder maybe. Yeah. But uh, man, tough. Summertime fishing, like summertime fishing. We're out here with like literally Lake Gunnersville's best bass fishermen. <laughs> One of them. What? <laughs> you know, uh, Tuesday, two days ago, we won a tournament. Okay. We had over four pounders for our whole limit. God. And we cold four pounders. Oh my gosh, uh, dude. And we won the tournament. And that's crazy today it, we fished a lot of the same the stuff, same places the same yeah places. dude crazy. and nothing like crazy. we would pull up on a school and it's literally like they just wouldn't bite so yeah. uh we're running out of daylight i have roughly a three to three and a half hour drive home and uh i gotta go pick up one of my kids from grandma's house so but yeah anyways that's 
but when we get home or probably not tonight probably be tomorrow uh the video's not over yet we're gonna go trey and i are gonna go check out some of that land that we were talking about uh we may ride the can-am around on a little bit of it kind of just get like a just to make sure like that's that's a very big decision to buy that much land so How it's much? like 20 i think it's just under 25 acres Heck I believe. Yeah. so it's i mean it's got a creek on it there's like little trails here and there Ooh. there's a, a bunch of good stuff a bunch of good content could be filmed on there and norm or actually i don't know i think norm may be in the process of buying i'm not 100 sure about that don't quote me on that i know lojo just bought a bunch yeah like a bunch of bunch nice. so uh nice. i was like you know what all my boys are buying land why not go buy some land but anyways trey and i are going to make our way back to the house and then tomorrow morning we're going to get up and uh go ride around and check some of that out so we'll see you guys uh, here in like two seconds all right, ladies and gents, Trey and I just got back from uh, driving around the land a little bit. And, um, of course, I didn't take my GoPros with me. I wanted to link the GoPros up. Or not link them up. I wanted to set them up on the uh, on the machine. Like, uh, if you are a fan of the uh, Reckless and Rowdy channel, you've seen how I set the GoPros up in the Can-Am. I wanted to do that. Of course, didn't have the GoPros. Didn't have the batteries. Didn't have any SD cards. And my camera was here because I was editing this video. And I was like, Trey, let's go look at the land real quick. But anyways, pretty sure it's gonna be a done deal. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I would be able to make a bunch of good, cool stuff for you guys. Uh, like Lojo's done with his land and, and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, yeah, we just uh, just got her cleaned up after that as well. I just got done pouring sweat. We, uh, we went this past weekend and uh, rode at Indian Mountain in Alabama. And if you know anything about side-by-sides, Indian Mountain, really big hills, uh, almost goofed, almost flipped down one of the most serious, biggest hills at uh, Indian Mountain called Paycheck. I'll play that clip right here. So let me know down in the comment section, what kind of videos do you guys want to see if I buy this land? I'm going to have, it's like just under 25 acres. There's a creek. There's some hill stuff. I can, you know, play with the Can-Am, whatever. The creek does have quite a few little deep spots in it. Uh, there is fish in it. Trey and I, we haven't fished it yet, but we have seen personally. We have seen uh, largemouth uh, or what would they, what are they, are they largemouth? Or are they like river bass or creek bass? What would they even be? Probably just largemouth. Probably just Honestly, largemouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We seen we seen one. It was probably well, I say I started off this big. <laughs> we seen one probably like this big in one of the little deep pockets, a bunch of little brim and crawfish. There's a whole bunch of awesome stuff that we could do out there. But anyways, just want to give you guys an update on that. And uh, within the next few videos, I think Trey and I are going to go down to Norms here pretty soon, I believe. And uh, we got a bunch of funny, super funny videos. I'll give you guys a little spoiler right here if you guys have made it this far. Have you guys ever heard of the uh, you break it, you buy it rule? Well, we may or may not be fixing a trick norm into uh, filming this video with me. We're going to do a uh, you break it, you buy it we're gonna test that theory in the store. So you know how when you go into the store, put a fishing rod on the ground, test the tip of it. We're gonna intentionally break them. Of course, I'm gonna buy them regardless of what the employee says. If I break something, I'm definitely gonna buy it. Of course, I'll get a reel out of the case or whatever I'll be looking at, and I'll just drop it on the ground. So we're gonna test that out with Norm. Don't tell him. Please don't tell him. It's gonna be hilarious. But with that said, Trey and I are also fixing to go film our very first podcast right now. I really still don't know the name. A lot of you guys in the video, a couple videos back, had a lot of good name suggestions. Uh, I might do something along the lines of the real deal with like a little fishing reel emblem, something like that, or real adventures or real life or something like that, but R-E-E-L, count them. So we're going to go film our first podcast right now. You guys should be seeing that. I'll post, I'm trying to think. I think it might come out tomorrow. We're going to go film it right now. I'll edit it and uh, all that good stuff. But anyways, love you guys. We'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Peace.